First of all, on behalf of all the fans of the Old Town Football Club, Matthew, thank you for captaining a winning side this season. How does that feel now it's all settled down? Yeah, um, really happy, obviously. Uh, I think it's only just really, really sunk in. It was a great weekend um, with the supporters um, at the game and then and after the game in the town was, was, was good fun. So, um, yeah, no, I'm really happy. Um, so, yeah, no, buzzing. How do you, as players, go into a game psychologically knowing that effectively it's pointless? Because it's got to be hard for you to pick yourselves up. You, it doesn't matter what happens in this game of football, or is that that winning mentality in footballers' brains that forgets league tables? It's a game of football, and we've got to win. Yeah, you said it perfectly. The, the uh, winning mentality we've uh, looked to build that all season, um, and it's not something that you can just turn on and off. We uh, we build it up all season, which has helped us to obviously win the league. So no, we'd be looking to to win another game of football. As players, you always want to win a game of football. It doesn't matter. If you're if you're safe, you're not playing for anything, or you're ready promoted, you want to win a game of football, um, and then again that leads on to next season. If we finish on a high, um, and we can all go enjoy our summer. And you can hear the competitive nature in training because fortunately we had some of you training behind us uh, when I arrived, and you can tell even in training you're a competitive bunch with nothing to play for, and you're still. Actually, yeah, that's it. I think all season we've been uh, pushing each other um, in training. It starts from the training ground, and then obviously leads to, to on a Saturday. But um, no, like I said, the winning mentality you can't just turn on and off. It needs to be built up, which we've done this season, um, and we'll be looking to, to take it into to next season. How have you found being the the guy that the younger players have to come to away from football if they've got to talk to you away from the ground about anything? Because that's not normally something players have to. To deal with, you can go to work, go home. But if you're a captain and players have got issues, they'll go to you rather than going to the gaffer, won't they? Yeah, I think yeah, it's uh, obviously it's a new new thing for me. Um, something that I've really enjoyed. Uh, but to be fair, if there's any problems, uh, lads feel comfortable enough to just openly say it in front of everyone. So it's more of a collective sort of team effort, um, and everyone knows they can say what they what they want to to us as a group, and we will uh, help to sort it. So. Going into Saturday, are you looking to start and captain the side, or maybe come on in the in the second half on Saturday? I'm not sure what the plan is yet. I'd, obviously, I'd want to start and, and, and play, but um, depends what the plan is on on Saturday. But um, no, I'd definitely be there. There's no major sort of injuries around you all back to no. fine fit. I yeah, picked up a little knock. Didn't yeah, you know? yeah. No, I'm all good now. It's got through today, which is which is good. And what, what's Matty's plan after to Dover? Because I think fans forget that you've got lives as well. You off. On holiday, going to do something nice over the summer for a bit. Yeah, relax. I'll be off. I'll be on off a few holidays. I try and sort of cram in as many as many as I can. Really, um, we've got a nice break. Um, so obviously, if the season finishes quite early. Um, I won't be back until sort of end of June, maybe. Um, so yeah, no, I'll be getting on holiday and uh, and relaxing. But you'll do some work. Yeah, no, obviously, I normally have sort of two weeks where I'm doing nothing um, or until maybe uh, mid sort of May, I'd say, and then I'd start start building up um, and then be ready for, for pre-season. Where, where do you see you as the captain? I'm presuming you're looking at being captain at the start of next season. Uh, where do you see <clears throat> this club at the start, at the end of next season? Where would you like to think we could eat comfortably finish? I think we could be we could be pushing for I think um, the, with the with the team we've got um, and it, obviously if if anyone comes in it sort of strengthens the squad even more uh, we've got a really good core um, that's that's signed on for next season and there's no reason why we can't be pushing to for playoffs or and and to go again really that's the target for everyone um, we've got winners in there now so um, that will definitely carry on to to next year. I know the last couple of seasons we've lost. Wrexham and, and Chesterfield and really there's about 14 of you that could quite easily get promoted next season so it's going to be quite a, a tight old tough division I think don't you? Yeah looking at that league um, now like you said those those teams have sort of come out of it it's anyone's anyone's title really um, there'll be a lot of teams pushing for it and it'll be a, an exciting season hopefully for, for players and, and, and fans of teams so um, yeah I'm really looking forward to it. Matt, we tried catching you on Saturday, but you'd already disappeared into the uh, overall nightlife. Um, I mean, how was it Saturday just to, to captain the team to be able to lift that trophy? I mean, for the fans, how, how was it personally for you? 
It was amazing. Um, it was a great day. I thought the lads performed really well. Um, they played unbelievable well. I think they played with complete um, control and and sort of no fear, which was which was nice to see. And the and the crowd was brilliant from from minute one, even when we conceded. Um, after that, they were still cheering, and it sort of helped the lads out. And then after, obviously, the presentation was was brilliant. I was waiting in the the. Um, entrance to come out for for quite a while but um no it was, it was so good it was a really nice feeling coming out and lifting the trophy with the boys and uh, going to see family and, and friends after i mean it's a year to date since that relegation at Wrexham was confirmed um i mean you just see the mood out in, in training today how it's almost like something's lifted i mean i know there's the pressure of trying to secure that title but even without that it seems like a lot of pressure is lifted around the club yeah it has um like it says it's been a year today which is, is crazy how much uh this club has, has come on over over one year and um, yeah today was obviously a fun day we'll be back in today preparing for Saturday um, everyone's in high spirits but no like you said it's the club's come so far in that in that year um, it's yeah it's, it's a complete change and it's it's something that everyone's sort of really enjoying finally for me as I mentioned this to Mark it, it, Saturday will be the last time that that squad as they are will be together in a match day squad how has the togetherness been without the squad? Obviously, you've got the French players that still still chip in and sort of help out here and there. I mean, how's it been this season? It's been it's really weird. Normally, in teams, sort of you get a couple of players that haven't been sort of around the squad and stuff, sort of fall away and and feel a bit not a part of it. But we've kept this group together so well, um, and everyone's a part of what the success that we've had this season. Um, everyone's played a part. Um, and like I said, the gap has done really well with sort of utilising everyone uh, when needed. Um, and yeah, it'll be it'll be sad. Obviously, the last game that we all are together, and some people will be going off and d different adventures. Um, but the memories like this, you you never forget. So we'll be in touch always. And um, no, yeah, I wish everyone that's not here next season all the best.